Yeah. Welcome, Welcome back, G family. family. And as you can see, we got Boosie reacting, and you know, kind of getting off a little suspiciously. Now, I know, I know, it's a little late, it's a little late. Just give us a little second. We try and stay updated on on the news and stuff like that. Real with you, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah, we don't be staying up on that. You know, we let we listen to the music, but we don't really we don't really be doing the rap news like that. But yeah, so dang on, we, we got Boosie, we, you know, reacting to this, and we're going to see what he has to say. We're going to give our opinion on what he has to say. Lord, I thought this one like YouTube. We on Facebook. <laughs> That's my fault. See, going home. Oh, see, I knew this audio would have been too loud. <laughs> I try not to make them too loud. Stuck the big dog out. Shit don't go like that. Mm. Now nah, he admitted to a criminalized organization. He fucked over Thugger with that move. Y'all not in the street, y'all know how that shit go. You gotta be a street nigga to know the law. He raw thug out with that motherfucker. He fucked over Thugger with that one. Criminal Enterprise. That's random. They only had one charge on it. That was a bad move. He couldn't get over five years. He only had one charge. You need to explain what he did. Nah, this makes it bad on Young Thug. He stuck Young Thug out with this. Just making bad on Young Thug, bro. This is not YouTube, bro. I need someone to ask this, man. Everybody got their different opinions on the situation. Everybody say, everybody either saying this man snitch or this man took a plea deal. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Gunner don't seem like, you know, he's the most hoodest of guys, if you ask me. You know, I've been living my life around some coonie tree. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying I'm a full breed coon, but I do have some coon in me. But one thing I can recognize is a coon. And when I see Gunna, you know, the way he dressed, the way he he be acting, you know, I don't really see a coon. A lot of people, when they become famous, they lose, they lose that coonery. You feel me? They be starting off like full yeah. big coons, and then over time they lose that coonery. And it's for a reason, that's for a business aspect, and I understand that, I respect it. But for Gunner, he came in the game. Never once, never once did he look like a full on coon. If you, if you know what I'm saying, you understand. If you speak the coon language, you understand what I'm saying. He never once presented himself as a full breed coon, bro. Young thug, bro. Let's be real. All these allegations back in mm. 2015, we gotta bring that up. And I'm a thugger fan. I'ma put that on camera because I, 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 I'ma I i be real. I'ma be in 100%. I'm a thugger fan. But mm. this nigga been wearing skirts. <laughs> this nigga been wearing skirts. So whatever, so whatever, 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 whatever coonery he could have been on, whatever coonery he might have been on in the past, if he really was on some coonery, it's gone. Hmm. For both of them. This nigga wearing skirts, you cannot be a coon, a full bred coon, bruh. Like, really think about that. Niggas is raised out the, the gutter. Niggas is raised out the mud, literally. Like, niggas is raised in the ghetto. I don't know how else to explain it to you. If you raised that way, you not gonna be wearing no skirt. If you raise that way, you're not going to be acting the way going to be acting. Dressing the way going to be dressing. I'm going to just keep it a buck with you. Now, maybe they could have been coons. Maybe they could have been coons. But as of the present moment, they are no longer coons. And what is my point in saying all that? My point in saying all that is what do you expect? Hmm. If the nigga snitched, that's non-coon activity. He is not no coon. Hmm. So what do you expect? What do you expect? 
respect. Be real. Be real. Okay, he rap about it in his song. Everybody do it. The nerds be doing it. The nerds. the nerds be doing it. So you gonna sit here and tell me that nigga rap about it in this goddamn song? That make it the truth? That make it a, I can rap about having a billion dollars. That make it the truth? Hmm. That make it the truth? Oh, okay then. So maybe he wasn't really a coon. Maybe, no, I, you know what, hold on. I take back what I say about Thugger. Maybe he's still with his coonery because of the fact that he, he caught up with these little Rico charges. But still, at the end of the day, Rico charges really don't mean nothing. You could still be a little Oh, sorry. And mm. not, I mean, I mean, I mean, and have Rico charges. It don't mean you, you automatically gangster. You feel me? It don't make mm. you automatically hard. But you know, maybe, maybe he does have some coonery left in him. But what I'm saying about gunners ain't no way. He pled guilty to a criminal enterprise. And he gunner. So what that do with the thug? Oh yeah, let me get on this too. Everybody talking about Young Thug and Gunner. Everybody talking about Young Thug and Gunner. Y'all niggas make me sick. <laughs> Y'all niggas make me sick. <laughs> you talk about Young Thug and Gunner. What about Young Thug and Rich Homie, nigga? <laughs> what about them? What about what about what, what about Young Thug? Well, she nah, he ain't really been with Gucci Man, but Young Thug do have a couple songs. With Gucci. I think a couple. I don't know. I don't know how many songs he got with that nigga. Oh, you know better than me. I know at least two. That's a couple, nigga. Mm -hmm. That's a couple. But yeah. So, 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 so you, 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 y'all quick to say Young Thug and Gunner just because they riding together now don't mean he know everything. Don't mean he really his right hand man. He just be rapping with the man. He just be performing with the man. Don't mean he really behind the scenes he really his partner. Mm, especially if you snitch. That's what I'm saying, bro. Ain't no telling. He could have just been another pawn in the operation, bro. Mm -hmm. Like y'all over here saying young thug and gunner, young thug and gunner. Just cause that's his that's that's his right hand man on stage don't mean that's his right hand man in real life, bro. Mm -hmm. Really think about that, bro. Really think about that, bro. Like y'all boy keeps saying that, but it, is it really true? You don't know what's going on behind closed doors. It's a closed door for a reason. Mm -hmm. You're not meant to know. Mm -mm. But I rest my case. <laughs> Bad you stuck thug out, bro. And when you do that, you stick a nigga out, bro. You just play guilty. You play guilty to a criminal enterprise that's ran by a young thug. That's what they saying. So. You stuck your big dog out, bro. <coughs> he did stick that nigga out, though. Yeah, man, I thought he was gonna come on that thing yelling. Yes, yes, yes. I thought he was gonna come on that thing screaming, but man, like I was saying earlier, bro, kinda ain't never been no hard nigga to me, bro. If you thought he was a hard nigga, that's you. I mean, people gotta do stuff for an image. Mm -hmm. They gotta maintain a, a certain a look on camera. So if you fall for that, you fall for that, but. You know, I see, I see straight through it. I don't have to know him in person. I mean, you don't have to. You could tell a coon from a coon, bro. They don't let coons on TV. They don't let real coons on TV. Like, for an example, Kodak, he used to be a coon, but he ain't no coon as much as he is. Like, he might still do coon activity, but he ain't as much as a coon as he used to be because you can't. In order to survive in a certain world, you can't. And even then, he's not really on TV. When's the last time you seen Kodak in a commercial? In a commercial? In a commercial. Be real now. Mm -mm. Be real now. Mm -mm. When's the last time you seen that nigga in a commercial? There's a reason for that. Because it's a level of coonery. If you won't be in... But when's the last time you seen Gunna in a commercial? Talk to well, me he, nice. He's in a Call of Duty commercial. Talk. Talk to me nice. Talk to me. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. He's not no coon, bruh. He not no coon, bruh. Any real... Let, let me let me stop saying that, bruh. Any real nigga could see right through that, bruh. Let's just be real, bruh. Any real nigga could see right through that, bruh. I didn't think they was getting out. I didn't... I ain't gonna lie. See, Gunner got out because he damn... He damn, um... Was being a hoe. Yeah, he either took that plea deal or he snitched. So he really put he put Thug out there and, 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 
in the water, bro. He let him. He pretty much seeing that that nigga gonna sink, sink a a, a swim pretty much. Mm. The community ain't gonna like that one, but I ain't she, got much else to say about that. I mean, if you if you doing real business with non coons, bro, or non real niggas, bro, however you wanna say it, that's the kind of stuff you gonna have happen. Yeah. Like you look at six nine. <laughs> Look at 6 9 Come on now. He wasn't no real active member. He wasn't no real banger. Next thing you know, he get put in a position. He start what? Snitching. Then what he say? Oh, this and that. That and this. I, wanted, I, I did it because I needed to protect myself. I needed to do it for this. But when, when, it, when it came time to be a part of the situation, he wasn't acting like that, though. Yeah. He ain't been thinking what all really come with it. You make you you letting non coons mix up in and, and, and you letting non real niggas mix up in real nigga activity, bro. Can't do that. Can't do that. But I mean that's him. You know that is what it is. I hope Thugger get free, cause I I rock with that nigga music like I was saying earlier. I still bump his tape, you know, if he drop. Young, I said gonna. I said gunner. <laughs> Why well, I mean to say no gunner? I meant to say thugger, nigga. Yeah, thugger. I can't wait for that nigga to get on through. If he get on through, whatever the situation may be, I don't know. But if he, if he, if he, if he in that pan, he might as well release a little something. Something I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But we gonna catch y'all boy in the next one. Peace.